Greetings. Welcome back. This is M-Dog. Just wanted to show you that I am okay. I really appreciate all the well wishes I've gotten over on YouTube as well as in-game in RF4. I have um, just the recovery of, I had a minor medical procedure, but the recovery time was just a little longer than I had anticipated. So uh, this week hasn't really gone as planned, <laughs> but been sidelined sidelined a little bit um i am headed in the right direction though for sure uh and wanted to make a little video here really wanted to say thanks to uh maz maz mazinator maz uh has sent me a message about this spot being active again this is a really fun spot um and uh although i haven't tried it yet myself I'm hoping that it is still, in fact, active uh, even now. I think this was several days ago when Moz sent me this info. Um, but let's go try it out. One thing that's nice about this spot is um, we are going to be getting out here. One thing that's nice about this spot is it's a really good spot to level up your bottom fishing. If you're wanting to work on leveling up bottom fishing, uh, this is a nice spot to do it. And we're going to be fishing right in this area here. We're at 3860. Uh, we're going to try 25 clip. Um, I have used different clips in this spot, but we're going to try 25. One thing you want to definitely watch is your friction break. Uh, we're going to be potentially catching trophy common roach here. Let's see if we make it 25 like that. Yeah, okay, this is going to be good. I was hoping that the picker rods would be able to um, make that full cast. And it looks like we can, since we're able to use the right uh, late, uh, weights on there. All right, so uh, we've got one rod in, and I will get the others in. But I wanted to see on weekly if the common roach were being caught here. Okay, it looks like they're not. Sura is still producing huge common roach, which is not a, uh, not a surprise. Sura usually is, but... Okay, so you drill down a little bit, you start to see that Ladoga is on some of the lists. Uh, cheese, mayfly larva, and caddisfly. Cheese may just be the most stable or the best, I don't know. Um, here, I'll show you how we're setting these up. We're going to go down to 4.3 with a size 10 hook. And I think we will try one of each. If cheese is the best bite rate, though, it, I mean, that's going to be the one to go with. Some of it is just, you know, wanting to find a good bite rate. Because like I said, one of the appeals for this is if you are working on leveling up your bottom fishing, because of the quality of fish that you're catching here a decent percentage of trophies so it looks like i'm down a um i'm down a sinker fly cast sinker which unless i lost it at some point i have a feeling it's somewhere i guess it is possible that i could have snapped something at some point though those just do a much better job of um of getting getting it out there at a decent i think 42 is just going to be way too big so let's try this just to get something out there 4.3 we're going to go size 10 hook on all three and uh, this one we're going to try caddis fly <clears throat> And again, Moz even sent me, um, Moz even sent me this PVA we're using, which is interesting. I think in the past I've done ground bait in this spot, which I think would also work fine. Um, in fact, just even regular common roach ground bait is what often I've done. We're gonna have to cast this one a little harder, I think. Yeah, there we go. We still got it there though. Um, but yeah, let's see what we have on here. First fish on the 
mayfly larva. Now the other fun thing about this spot as well as the spot that's just to our left is not only are, are really nice common roach available, but you can also catch whitefish. That's a vendus. And so if you want to try for whitefish, just kind of move all your setups over to the whitefish baits. Let's take a look at the PVA that we're using. So this is what Maz sent. Ground crackers, flaxseed, bloodworm, chopped worm cheese, and caramel peach attractant. Wow. That looks pretty good, Maz. But yeah, the other place is right down here. Uh, and I think if you want to catch more of the char and whitefish off of uh, feeders, kind of casting right out into here um, at different... 25 to 35, I believe, was different clips we are using there. But that can also be a really nice spot. But for the common roach trophies, this tends to be the, the, place, to, the place to try. So we'll just see how it goes here. It's going to be a super long video, but I thought it'd be fun just to see if, in fact, this spot is still pretty active. I may be a few days behind this spot because I have been sort of out of action, but... Um, uh, if it's still working well, then we should see some pretty nice roach showing up here in the morning. I think there is a fish on here, yeah. All right, so this is a little bit bigger fish. There's a nice roach. 636 grams. Let's get that friction brake back down. All right, this is on the uh, caddisfly larva. I don't know if this is another Vendus or what, but this seems really small, doesn't it? Oh, it's just a small roach. No, it is a Vendus, my bad. Ooh. All right, this is, uh, I think, the first fish we've caught on cheese. And it is, in fact, a roach. So now the question is, the roach are still here, so now the question is, can we still get a reasonable percentage of trophies. And I don't know if I finished my thought, but that's part of why this spot is so good for leveling up your bottom fishing, because it does seem like you're more likely to get percentage points when you're catching trophies or really large uh, fish sizes for that species. And so to have this in your rotation, it's also like reasonable silver. Um, I think aiming for trying to make 200 silver an hour in the spot is is reasonable especially if you can um if you can attach it to some cafe orders once again a decent roach so I guess now that it's daytime, does it kind of seem like these three baits are performing pretty similarly? I'm not sure. I mean, you just kind of want to, 
I guess feel, see what's what's working the best and then just go with whatever's giving you the best bite, bite rate probably in a spot like this. I'm not sure what's going on with that middle rod. Ooh, our friction brake was left way too high. We at least need to have it down at 10, I would say. All right, there's a nice roach. 1.4, so the first trophy does come out on cheese. Worth keeping in mind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this line was pulling. Yeah, I think I'll put it at 10 instead of eight. Whoa, calm down. Yeah, another nice roach. Almost a, almost a kilo. I'm really bad at remembering to put the friction brakes down. You may get to see me snap a leader here. Uh, I wish I knew exactly how I was going to be feeling moving forward. I would love to say that I was going to be able to stream this weekend. Uh, I think it's possible, but I can't say for sure. I really can't say for sure. Uh, at this point, it's, it's mostly just about endurance, just being, being really uncomfortable after uh, sitting for very long and just not having the endurance to, but we'll, uh, we'll see. I mean, I have had some, some days day to day improvement has been pretty good. So hopefully that will continue. Um, but I definitely wanted to get a couple RF4 videos done in the next couple days if possible and, uh, ease back into things. I also want to keep looking at Fisher online now that the DLC is out and see if we can, uh, look at some content there as well. Um, Okay, so we are what, um, right now, if anything, maybe leading towards cheese, just because that's where we happen to get the one trophy. I mean, I don't think there's anything, uh, I mean, I think at this point I would say that's random. Any of these three baits would definitely get us a trophy here. But if cheese just went two for two, we might have to switch. What's done the worst so far? Possibly the caddis fly. I don't know. Maybe we just keep them all three on though, just to see if either the other two come through for us in this short video, in this time that we're together. In our time together. Woo, over a kilo. It did not go two for two though. So we're still good. We're still good. All right, we've got the one trophy at 1.4. It's a nice, nice little fatty. I mean, where is that fish going? Come back here, buddy. I think my impression is that ee, that I just messed up a roach bite. <clears throat> my impression is that if I had to rank them 
on a tiny little sample size here, I would actually rank them in the order that they're set up. I would say cheese first, mayfly second, caddisfly third. But I mean, again, we have such a small, such a small sample size. Cheese, cheese, mayfly, 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 caddisfly. Caddisfly, cheese, caddisfly. So caddisfly has kept up bite rate wise, but it has happened to have caught the smaller ones as well. What the heck? Interesting. It, 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 I'm just, let me just put this out there. I know that not everyone will see this video and that there will still be people that make this mistake, but uh, if you're wanting me to make you a lure, please ask first. Uh, and I say that because, you know, I may be away from the game for a couple days. And so I hate for you to start sending me the materials to make a lure and then I don't respond for two or three days. So just ask. And then if I know that I'm going to be on and can do that, I will let you know. I still have premium, so if you send me the materials for a lure, I can do it, but I just feel bad um, there being like several days uh, between me being able to answer you or get to it. So uh, ask first, and, and I'm really not doing the boily thing anymore. If you want a lure, I, I need the materials for it, uh, just because I'm at 100% now, so I'm not, I'm not purchasing the lure materials myself anymore. So uh, I'm not going to take the time to go get the materials. But if you want a particular lure, then, um, then yeah, you just would need to send me the materials. But I would prefer you ask first. It might even be good to wait and do it sometime when I'm streaming. Uh, and we'll just get it done while I'm streaming. But the only thing I haven't done in terms of my lures yet, and I will do this eventually, but I don't really feel a rush to do this is I haven't gone through and made any of the 100% lures. So I've got quite a few to make for myself down here, but I'm, you know, I'm going to keep my points in lure making until at least until Yama comes out is, is my plan right now, because I want to see what happens with lure making at that point. Um, so there's no rush. You should still have a little bit of time. Um, and probably the safest thing to do is if you're wanting a lure is catch me during the, a stream. Or, it, you know, or at least ask first again because I just want to make sure I'm active in the game at that time and you're not just sending me stuff that's just going to sit there for a week or something. All right, so we are at prime time, 7.30 in the morning. It's all led up to this. Let's see in the next, uh, I don't know, couple of in-game hours if we can get lucky on a second common roach trophy. We're definitely catching some solid, solid ones here. There is no doubt. No doubt about that. And I have messed up more than one bite. It was a pretty nice bite the last one I messed up on cheese. Um, I picked it up too early. You could tell it was heavy. It popped off because I wasn't, it hadn't really hooked in yet. So that's unfortunate, but there's no way to know. It may not have been a trophy necessarily. But, you know, in a short amount of time, we're already at 16 fish and we're just now hitting daytime, which will be, or like real morning, which will be even, even better. Definitely use the smaller PVA bags, if, if PVA at all. I, I honestly think this spot would be fine with ground bait. Maybe even with no feeding, but certainly with ground bait. Um, but you don't want to overfeed the water uh, on a small fish like roach. I also think there could be wisdom in maybe taking the PVA off the middle rod. Just having, especially if you're using the same bait on all three, just having PVA on the outside rods. Again, just try not to overfeed the area if you're going to sit here and like really grind out uh, points in your bottom fishing.
Another nice roach. You know, I think, I mean, I, I guess I, I, having it on 14 gram is fine, but some of these roach, the bites are pretty light. It might be worth even putting it on seven. I can't tell which one has the actual bite on it right now. This one's going crazy. If I had to guess, I would say it's this one. Yeah. I'll have to remember to buy a new uh, fly sinker, whatever these are called, fly cast sinkers. Those are so good, especially if you're using PVA on pickers, because it allows you to cast it much farther than you normally would with pickers, especially someone might, like me who doesn't have fishing with a picker rod points. So I'm losing all of that casting distance and accuracy. So I need that fly cast and it needs to be super lightweight. So. Um, it's really helpful. All right, we're just going to have to te test these. Somebody has a fish on. There we go. Oh, this one already was at seven gram. Interesting. What is good for a new player? That is the question, y'all. That is the question. Definitely some of these 
Green baits. This looks like this is on. Woo! <laughs> it's on. Oh, we should send him some fish pieces as well for when he gets to Corey. That's what I should do. I'll... Let me send him a couple more baits and then I will g do a rundown on where to use some of those baits, hoping that uh, he watches this video, he or she. And maybe it'll be helpful for someone else as well. A decent roach there. So we're still catching them. I think, if I remember correctly, you pretty much catch fish 24 hours at this spot. Nights are a little bit slower perhaps, but um, the fish really just keep coming. I think there is, are certain times where you see a higher percentage of trophies. Is this a roach? This might be a decent one. What is that? Yeah, it's just an upside down roach. Oh, that's the biggest one on Caddisfly yet. So we're going to send fish pieces and let's see if there's anything else. I don't think I did garlic dough yet. That's another one that's worth sending some. Um, all right. I am recording a roach video. If you watch it later today. I will talk about these baits and where to use them. All right, let's clear the fish real quick and then I'll do that. Always nice to see so many new people in our chat channel. And by the way, folks, if you are uh, new to RF4 and looking for a community, it is a large community at this point. I can't tell you that it is always the nicest uh, environment. There are times that people have been rude. Uh, we all have bad days. Um, you know, things happen. Uh, but I will say compared to most communities, uh, this is a fantastic one. It is very helpful. And um, if you can sort of learn to not feed the trolls and ignore when, you know, someone's having a bad day and don't take it personal, uh, it can be a pretty safe place to hang out. But um, if you want to come check it out, just when you search for chat channels, just search for my space dogs and I will show you how to do that now. Um, and come join us, say hello, let people know you're new. Uh, just remember, you don't want to start, you know, you don't want to come into a, a community and start begging, asking for free stuff. But if you get to know people, there are some really helpful folks. But yeah, you just click on this and then you click join. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool place to hang out. Okay, so real quick, let's go over these baits. Um, yes, um, 
not ideal, but will work for most reels. All right, so here we go. Um, I also could send in some like maggots. Anyway, all right, Eggdo. Uh, sometimes Eggdo works really well at places like Mosquito and Oldberg for things like uh, Crucian Gibbles, that kind of stuff. You gotta be careful with all of the doughy baits because you can sometimes get carp on them. So just be prepared for that possibility. You sure, I'm sure you know about worms and red worms. Remember that red worms sometimes is a really good bream bait, but it's just such a good bait overall. It's kind of like night crawlers. It's just so good for so many different fish. Uh, and don't sleep on worms and bread as well, but cottage cheese dough. As you play this game, sometimes the best bait for bream at a place like Oldberg or Volkov or wherever, sometimes even mosquito, could be cottage cheese dough. Even if it's not the best that week, it may still work well. Pea porridge, same thing. Could be a really good bream bait at times. Fish pieces. My recommendation is to save this until you get a little bit higher level and go to Quarry Lake. Basically, what you want to do with fish pieces is go for um, burbot at night. You will use your bottom, your feeder, feeder setups to fish for burbot during the nighttime. So you'll potentially troll spin fish at quarry during the day and then fish for burbot at night you can also feeder fish during the day at quarry but in all likelihood you'll probably want to try trolling with your spinning spinning setups at that point either way though burbot at night can be a good way to spend the evening hours when spin fishing slows down significantly and then the last one was garlic dough garlic dough is another one just like cottage cheese dough just like pea porridge in fact it, it may be the most consistent of those three um, which is to say that it's another good bream bait. It just depends on which bait is working best that week at that water body. <clears throat> but if you haven't already, definitely work on leveling up your crafting bait skill yourself. Um, and one of the first ones you get to once you've done a little bit of leveling is um, a bait that I didn't send you. And that's because I want you to be motivated to get it but that is pearl barley. Pearl barley is terrific. Not only does it catch bream, it also can catch really nice common roach, like in a spot like we are now. So uh, level up that bait harvesting. Okay, so I probably need to wrap this up. We've caught some nice little roach here. Um, let's maybe, let's see one more fish and then we'll tinker on over to the cafe and see if we have happen to have any cafe orders right now. Oh, and then one more thing here. Let's, uh, this person just was asking nicely. So we'll send him a little bit of honey dough. Um, let me also send you honey dough. I don't think I did send honey dough. Oops. Um, the last one I'll send is honey dough. Now, the reason why honey dough is good is because when you are fishing at Old Berg, sometimes uh, tench are really good for honey dough. So keep an eye on that. Obviously, cheese can work well. Um, other baits can work well for tench at times, but when a tench spot pops up, Sometimes the honey dough can be the way to go. But like I said, with all those dough baits, you just got to be ready for the fact that it is possible to attract common carp, grass carp, that kind of stuff that can really, even at mosquito these days, that can just be a much larger fish than your gear is able to handle. So you just kind of have to be ready for that possibility. I have certainly missed being able to play this game. I hope that um, I'll be able to play more in the coming days as my recovery um, moves forward here. Okay, so we have seen some good fish. Let's go ahead and let's just go check the cafe. And so we got what less than half an hour, less less than an hour in, right at half an hour of fishing. And um, yeah, we'll just we'll just use that. We only got one trophy. Uh, I would like to think that. 
you know, randomness RNG is going to affect this, but I'd like to think if this spot's pretty good, you could average, um, I don't know, like three to five trophies per hour. If you're not seeing that, which we have not been seeing that, then it might mean that the spots might be with the weather, might be that the spots, you know, dying down a little bit. Um, but part of the appeal of the spot, like I said before, are hitting decent amount of trophies because getting all those really large sizes of roach is what's hopefully going to help you level up your um, bottom fishing. Either way, it, you can tell this spot is active. It feels good. I think it is probably worth spending time at right now. Um, I do wish we could have seen maybe another trophy or two, though. All right, here's the cafe. We have uh, no roach orders, which is unfortunate, although this will sh show you more of a straight, uh, no order, just silver amount based on how we're doing. So, okay, that's not bad. I mean, considering we only had one trophy, we're at 86, uh, 86 .9 silver. Um, we are on our way to being a little less than 200 silver per hour, but I think that if we keep fish, if we were to keep fishing here, that trophy amount would increase a little bit on average, and we would probably get, well, let's just say you're going to be looking at 150 to 200 silver per hour. I think that's a safe estimate. You're at least going to be able to do that. Um, and if you don't have access to PVA, just use common roach ground bait, which you can make from level one. So um and you should do really well doing that i think if it were me i might spend a half hour doing all three with cheese and see how the results compare to what we just did i'm not convinced but it's possible that cheese might just be a better option a little more consistent but um it's fun Th that spot is one of the things that's fun about it not only is it good for trophies and good for leveling up your bottom fishing but it's fun because there's so many baits you can you can experiment with you can experiment with baits hook sizes leader sizes there's a lot you can do and you're constantly catching fish so it's just a lot of fun i'm glad to see this spot is active again thank you so much again to you Maz, for sending me the the mix that you've been using and uh, just letting me know that in the past week or two this spot's been really nice once again. Okay, you all have a great one. I can't wait to see you again. Hopefully we'll be able to stream again soon, but uh, tight lines, everybody. Thanks for your support. Peace out.